Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. And now we've got more images to take a look at for this Imperial Guard leak. I finished up the day yesterday with this video where we went through the three images that were released onto Reddit. So we got a good look at some of the new models. But now the full image has been released, which is brilliant. We're getting a really good look at the models we looked at yesterday, but also some new ones. So let's go through those because there's loads to talk about here. So first up is the Creed model, and you can see this one on the left-hand side there. So we looked at that a bit yesterday and talked a lot through it, but I didn't mention the Command Rod, so it's really cool to see that in this better image. And if you look at the Lord Castellan Creed data card that exists now, the Supreme Commander ability enables him to use the Voice of Command ability three times. So it's really cool to see that he's got that Command Rod there, because hopefully that's going to stay in place. Being able to issue three orders is a really cool ability, so that's really good. I talked about this yesterday as well, and I haven't made my mind up yet whether or not this is a younger version of Creed, or it's a completely new model, maybe his daughter as it was rumoured. And so yeah, I really don't know. It's got the pistols, it's got this different head style, which looks a bit more feminine, and with the longer hair, but that really could be a younger version of this guy. Um, but his jaw is just so big on this, but if you do look at the models, the cheeks are quite similar in shape and the hair is almost the hairline is receding in the same way. And if it is his daughter, she's not going to have his pistols, is she? So, yes, I don't know. I, I think this could be a younger version of Creed. But that green like cloak in the front is just throwing me a little bit. So that is quite different. But I'd love to know what you think. Is this going to be a young Creed or is it a complete replacement, maybe his daughter? Either way, I'm really happy they are replacing it because I like the data card. I think it's really good and I'm looking forward to trying that out on the battlefield. I picked up the old Creed model just in case they weren't making another one. But I did think that once that Creed model made the discontinued list, it was a hint that we might be seeing a new version of him. The final thing we've got to note here is the banner behind him as well. We've got the helmet on the base and is this tying in something to do with Sergeant Kell maybe bringing that part of the story into the model? Really can't tell at this point. Here's a nice pick of the armoured sentinel that we talked about yesterday as well. So we've got that plasma, the spotlight, unto killer missile, the more Lehman rust style exhaust at the back and the chunkier armour, more like a dune crawler admex style canopy. But now at the back, you can see there's going to be a scout version of the same model. So this looks like it's going to be a new kit to replace the existing one. I actually prefer the existing one. I think it's awesome, especially for the Katachans. I'll be using the original scout version for them. But I like the chunkier armoured version for the Cadians. So that's going to be good to have two different types. One for the Katachans, one for the Cadians. And I think that's going to suit the army. But I'm not sold on this new version for the Katachan. So yeah, I think I'll have to get some more of the Scout versions that exist now before those get discontinued. Because I do really like the style of them. I think they're awesome. And then look at getting maybe some armoured ones for the Cadians. If you like this Scout version though, it looks like it's got the Laz Cannon on there. So you're still going to have the weapon options and we've got the Plasma on the armoured one. So I'm sure we can magnetise it like we've done the other one. And then it looks like we've got the big chain sword as well so we can still add that and I can see the spotlight on the scout version as well. We saw one of the Kazakins yesterday and we've got the Voxcaster here but we've got lots of other versions with the cap, we've got different weapons, it looks like hotshot volley guns maybe even, las cannons, flamers, plasma pistols, all sorts going on, big chunky armour, these guys look great and I can't wait to get hold of this kit. It's going to be really nice to have this unit playing the similar role as the Scions, but all being part of the Cadian Regiment. So I'm really happy with that. Yeah, so this, I think from everything, this is probably what I'm looking forward to picking up the most. But saying that, we've got another Commissar here, and this looks like a really good pose, a proper heroic pose. I really love the Severina Rain model, so it's going to be nice to have something, hopefully, at that level to, to replace that. Um, commissar that comes in the start collecting kits. I really don't like that model too much. Um, so yeah, but Severina Rain is awesome. So if this one's anything like that, I'll be really happy. There's still loads more to look at. 
And then at the back here, we've got some troops. Now, I thought this might be a special weapons squad and like have maybe six different ones with lots of weapons you could choose from. That would be a really good option to grab hold of. But looking at the picture, I can count 10 troops. So this looks like it's just a replacement for the Cadian infantry. What do you think about that? Do we need a replacement? It's certainly after that upgrade sprue that came with the Cadians. I'm not sure if we do. I'm happy with the ones that we've got already. And wouldn't it be cool if they put out another regiment and started bringing new models for those? So I think that might have been a better direction to go in. But I'm not complaining. Getting some new models. And hopefully this is a really good indication that the Codex is coming soon. There's also a new command squad here. So it looks very similar to the original one. We're going to get the commander. We're going to get the flag. It looks like we've got the Vox Custer there. There's a few differences though. So let's go through those. Let's start with the commander option first. So definitely a different stunts. That base looks different. Here's the one you get at the moment. So you can see that the um, coat is different how it hangs over the leg there. And now he's got a rock to stand on, so that certainly makes him look more official on the battlefield. He's armed with a sword, and you can see this one from the original kit, but it can't really tell from the photo whether that will be a mechanical arm or not. And not expecting the flag to change the design much, but I can't see any tassels on this new one though, so that's something that they may have left out. And the pose looks very static, he's kind of just stood to attention almost there. And then there's the Vox Custer. From the image, it almost looks like he's got some kind of cap on. So that's a little bit different too. And that's a good segue into the helmets. Now, these all look like they're different shapes. So the Kazakins are certainly different. As we can see here in this image, they've chained, you know, they've got different helmets to the original Cadians. But it looks like all the infantry have got different helmets now. So that's a really big change up too. Then I noticed this guy in the far right of the screen, and I thought he might be a separate miniature, but I, I do believe that's part of the command squad. I got a bit excited at first. I thought it was a, a Katachan because the head looked like it had that kind of cr uh, flat top haircut, um, but it's not. Is it? I mean, it could be, but I don't think it is. I can see like knee pads, the uniform looks the same, and I do think this is part of that command squad. The command squad we can get hold of now does come with five models, so it makes sense that this one would be part of it. And that just leaves the heavy weapon teams. And so we've got the heavy bolter, looks like we've got the auto cannon, and then the missile launcher at the back. So whether we're going to get the mortar and the las cannon included in the kit, can't tell from this picture. Sure we will, but it definitely looks like it's taking up more space on the base. So a bit chunkier maybe, that might have something to do with just the way they're positioning it and the angle. I uh, can't imagine the weapons are going to get any bigger, but yeah, there's something to look forward to. But I've just made a ton of heavy weapon squads, so I certainly won't be looking at getting any more in a hurry. Although it would be tempting to get one kit to see what it looks like and maybe make them as something, just one type of weapon, like maybe make them all as las cannons. I'm not sure yet. So there we go. That's everything that I've managed to pick out from the picture. But have you seen anything that I've missed? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, let me know what's your favourite unit or model from this image. This is a pretty exciting time to be a guard player. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what's in store for the guard in the year ahead. The Kazakins are the standout unit for me. I think that's great. Having that option is going to be really fun. But I do like character models. So having a new version of Creed is interesting. The Commissar looks pretty cool. And I also quite like the Command Squad. I do like making those little unique models from all the different bits. So having another Command Squad is appealing just to make some other characters for the army. I'm not into that scout version of the Sentinel. I really like the ones we've already got. And I think they fit the Katachans perfectly. But the new armoured style, I think that could be something really interesting to add to the Cadian. So I'm up for that. I definitely want to get hold of one or two of those. Maybe even three. Let's wait and see. And then there's the infantry models. Not really sure about those or the heavy weapon teams either. I think with what I've got now, more than happy. But I guess if I want to expand the army later on, there's going to be some cool new models to do that with. But there we go. How exciting is this? We're starting to get some cool content for the Imperial Guard now. This has to mean the Codex is on the way, doesn't it? I hope so. It must do. So yeah, really looking forward to getting this Codex. So it's going to be awesome. And with the new models like this and so many different units, it can't be long now. 
But thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And yeah, if I've missed anything, add it down below. Thanks again. Please like if you like it. Subscribe for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit that notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'd like to say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters who make these daily videos possible. And if you're interested in joining the community, it'd be awesome to see you there. And I'll put a link for that in the description down below. <laughs>